everyone, welcome back to another travel vlog on this channel. Me and Ava are currently exploring our favorite island in the Philippines, Chargao Island. Mm -hmm. In this video, we're gonna show you everything you can get into on this place. We've been coming here consistently since 2018, but it's changed so much. So there's so many new things that we now have to highlight. So in this video, we're gonna be showing you some of the new favorite things you can do. Here in Chargao 2024. This is Coconut View, one of the things you have to experience when you're here. While we are here in Chargao, we are staying with Happiness Chargao. They have uh, locations in Chargao, Boracay, and El Nido. So when you're coming to the Philippines, make sure to check them out because really high quality accommodations and some of the best community vibes that you can find. We're gonna be highlighting them as well. <laughs> Welcome to the video. Good morning there, welcome to our outdoor living room while we are here in Chargao. <laughs> Not bad, right? This is one of the private rooms that they have here all the way at the beachfront. Super nice. Here you have your private hammock, you have two swings you can enjoy. You can open this up, kind of look all the way down at the beach. You also have a table in the middle and over here you have a private kitchen which I'll show you right now. Here is the private kitchen, also comes with a fridge and a microwave. And for all the Filipinos watching, also has a rice cooker. Transferring a lot of footage this morning. Beach bar is actually right behind here. Let me give you a little sneak peek of what that looks like. like that. Super beautiful. One of the things I love about island living is the ability to have your living room outside. You gotta be careful because if you do it over time, all your camera gear and stuff will be rusty. But if you're just visiting the island for a week, not an issue at all. Every day there is a new activity happening here at Happiness. And today, or on Sundays, they do breathing exercises in the morning. Which is, it's not yoga, but it's like healing through breathing. Something I actually do enjoy when I free dive. So I'm gonna try this. Never tried it before. Put it to the test, try something new. That's what it's all about. And that's happening here in the front. Beach front. I don't know if it's a little windy, but I'm gonna try to talk to you anyway. Just finished this morning of energy, spiritual, you know, breathing techniques here at Happiness. Beautiful experience. Someone like me that's so digital, always on my phone, and being able to just take an hour to focus on breathing and being in a good space was really beautiful. So they do that here every Sunday, so definitely consider checking that out. You can already tell my day is gonna be a lot better. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, sexy. sir. You're welcome, oh, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is our friend. Hi, Barak. <laughs> Barak is taking us around the island yes. today. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Maurice. Maurice. Hi, I'm Emilia. Emilia. Hi, I'm Barak. Hello, everyone.
All right, guys, it's time for another adventure here in Shargao, and I have now arrived here at Wake Park, Shargao. One of my favorite things to do here on the island. First time I saw this place, I was so shocked that somebody actually built a whole Wake Park <laughs> here on the, on the island. I'm gonna check it out today. It's, it's, it's a really fun place. You can come a solo or as a group and just book in. And that's what I've done today. There it is. As you guys see, this park is really good, both for beginners and professionals. Two levels, upper level, lower level, jump, rail. <laughs> we actually had a very big competition here just a couple days ago with professionals coming in from all over the world to ride. So this place is epic. And on those days where you're not able to surf, it's perfect that there's another water sport activity you can do. We also have windsurfing here on the island and surfing. For me personally, I like to come here as I used to be a freestyle skier back in the day. Let's see what we can get done today. just waiting for the sunset but before that I want to show you the food stalls not okay. even just food stalls they even have they're selling shirts here now <laughs> before there were only two stalls here yeah. the Balot Bendor and I think Isao or something like that now there's the more balot, yeah. let's go see okay here we go we're approaching the stalls so this is a review of the current stall section here on Tangnam Bridge Where's the best well, coconut? No, it's not really the best, but it's the only one I think. Look at this! There's pearls even of it. Look at that! Amazing! You have coffee here too? Yes, iced coffee. Wow! How much for one iced coffee? 95. I'll get one iced coffee from you. I'm buying a coffee. Oh, fish coffee now? Yeah. This oven. So it's Filipino street food. So chicken skin. I think it's a I got some fish balls. I think that's the only one that I can eat right now because I'm pregnant. Actually, I can't eat this, but I'm still eating. And now you're getting sauce? Yeah. Some um, vinegar. Mm. So now it's like six pieces for 10 pesos. I got for 20. They're the first ones who did like a. Uh, number one stall, the yeah. first one. Yes, you started it. Really? <laughs> and now. The OG. <laughs> Look you. what you created. <laughs> Anybody even know. Right? Yeah. You need to get the story straight. <laughs> What's your name out there? Erika. Erika. Yes. Thank you for starting the coolest attraction in Chargao. Thank you. Rory <laughs> Action. What is this? Ube ice cream? Ube ice cream. Oh, you gotta try this when you're in the Philippines. Can I say Anyone see a I'm the one who got you. Kebab? Yeah. I wish best, one best, of my best kebab on the island. Maybe I should yes. do that. Yeah. Best like kebab it. on the island? <laughs> no. Ave, can I get a kebab? Can you get a kebab? We're not super like super duper kebab legend. 
It's good among the all. It's a good standard. I'm getting uh, shawarma kebab beef for 180 pesos. So this is a 200 peso bill. I'm here this morning with my friend Yael. Good morning. What are we going to do today? So today we're going on a secret tour, which means that you're not going to know the location, but but it will be fun. It will be fun. It will be amazing. It will be beautiful, and we'll have fun for sure. So if people want to do this trip, how can they get on it with you? Like, where so, do they find you? Basically, only there in our self uh, travel and tour. Uh huh. And and yeah, happiness, happiness. It's to find us and that will be the only way to find that too actually okay so there you guys go i'll also link it in the description so make sure to check out yael this is gonna be a fun day guys i want to highlight something for you i'm currently standing on tourism road this is the road that runs through the main town here in shargao called general luna like the life or here in the city if you drive along here you'll find anything you're looking for and what's really cool with happiness is that they have kind of occupied two sides of the road so they have the hostel here on the right side travel and tourist booth where you can book places to go and all of that rent scooters there's even a restaurant in here which is super nice and then over here on the other side they have something called goodies and a beachfront lot in the front so one of those few places where you have everything all in one So for our first stop today, we are here in Maasin, Barangay Maasin, nice. in Buyod Restaurant. This is actually pretty new. Yeah. It's overlooking the coconut trees that we went to the other day and have some coffee. I'm excited for coffee. I know you are. trying the local iced coffee here. Check this thing out. <laughs> Looks like a Coke, but it is iced coffee. That's a lot of ice. Mmm. Actually, not that bad. Mm -hmm. Well done. So this is called the multicab. It's like a small van with no air condition. Very popular, especially in the province in the Philippines. It's usually used as like a alternative for a jeepney because sometimes the jeepney is too long yeah yeah this super adventurous yeah. hi girls i'm with lucy hi lucy. lucy i told her hey come with me because i need to speak the girl okay? yeah <laughs> oh, <man. That's> <laughs> Ave, what is the place we have discovered now? Hello, we're in San Miguel. San Miguel? Mm -hmm. Look how clear the water is. Dude, this is so cool. I didn't know Shargao had this. The one that we went before is a bit further, like smaller. This one is wider. <laughs> What's nice about this place is that we're the only ones here and uh, less crowded, more peaceful, I would say. <sighs> so nice. Hello, my Tarzan. What's up? <laughs> so here's a tip for you. When you're coming to Shargao, either get one of these before you arrive on the island, because it's not that easy. All the tourists don't always rent them out, so we carry these with us at all times. So I can always go scuba diving, <laughs> free diving, free diving, I mean, sorry. Could know how much he's having fun right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The baby's having so much fun. I think imagine the gravity difference for the baby now. Yeah. Oh, so nice. 
It's cold. You're right? Oh. Ave, where are we now? We are in Barangay Bye Bye. Wow. We had to go through the jungle. Yeah. And it's better if you have like a four-wheel drive here. Yeah. Because it gets it gets a little rough. But we managed to get it yeah. in, even with now our Ford Focus. Here. Wow, this is the fish farm. What we've been hearing about. Oh, look at the bata. Hello. Kamusta ka dyan? Hello! Hi! Ano pangalan mo? Dudong. Dudong. At si? Sia. <laughs> Sia and Dudo. Oh, wow, look how Look at the clear it water out there. So there's fish also. You can see the fish. Cute wow. place. Wow! Wonderful. So this is um, local, a uh, local family owns this place and protects it. Yeah. They also clean it. So that's why it stays like this. Such a nice tour. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, we're going to be walking in here. Beautiful day. I mean, we're blessed by the weather gods here in Chargao Island. Ayo. 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 Wow, I really want to swim. I hope I can swim. <laughs> Cool place. It's crystal clear. There's probably a, a hot spring or a cold spring of some sort, which is popular in the Philippines. They even have like flowers and plants. <sighs> We're walking on sandbags. And here they're preparing coconuts. Fresh buko, they're serving us. So welcome drink straight from the coconut tree. Oh. <laughs> wow. Filipino, tell us what you see. So we have grilled fish here, veggies. I, I think they farm it. This is banana banana heart with chilies. This Are you the chef? Uh, Gabi. Gabi bato. It's like Gabi. Gabi. With, I th I'm thinking coconut milk, no? What's gabi? Gabi is a type of leaf. Yes, like this. All from the garden. Yeah, from the garden. All from the garden over yeah, there. And this one is grilled eggplant with coconut milk and um, sweet potatoes. Uh -huh. Sweet potatoes. <laughs> Oh, look at this stuff. What's happening here? We're making straw. Oh, yeah. Learning how to make bamboo oh, straw. No problem for <laughs> straw. <laughs> so cool. Look at that. Ah. Eco friendly. Linish. Ah, yes. That's how you do oh. it. That's the uh, straw of bamboo. Very cool. Right. Your own straw? <laughs> My own straw. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it's work. <laughs> Quality. Oh, look at that! Amazing! Yeah. Great success! Amazing. <laughs> and I still don't know Tagalog. What would you say? Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, thank yeah. you! For me? Yeah, this is the best one. Because oh. it's, I know, still a bit like... Um, Watery, mm. not the dry one. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's the best. Filipinos, so sharing. <laughs> yeah. Always so sharing, Alamat. you Filipinos. This is the a good for the pregnant oh, lady. It's for It's good for pregnancy also. Mm, for you to avoid UTI. Mm. Oh, pregnant get UTI. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Look at all that juice! Thank you. It's straight, straight from the. <laughs> You're joking! <laughs> You're joking! <laughs> 
Oh, you guys have no idea how good that is. You also saw them <laughs> get it from the tree. Yeah, I did. You drink it from here. Wow, that is the best coconut I think I ever had. I remember when I was a little girl. That's just that, that's how I play my dolls. <laughs> like I like af after I play with it, I just like throw it away. Yeah, not so interesting and then, anymore. Uh, luckily, she still has hands and feet. And legs. Is this yours? <laughs> I think it's hers. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you found one. Amazing. Look at this guy. It's actually pretty big. Yeah. Good job. You're the real deal. This place fascinates me because it shows a way of life that is almost dying out. You get to experience it firsthand. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. It's such an experience. Like, not so many places in the world you can do this anymore. Actually get to see what might have been like living before, just of the land, of nature. <sighs> beautiful. Check this out. This is their view. This is Kuya's backyard. Private pool. Calmness. Filipina in the tree. <laughs> Guys, for today's romantic dinner, we are checking out a wild restaurant here in Chargao. We were here many years ago, but it's been a while and we're pretty excited to be back. This is one of those few places on the island where you can get a really nice romantic dinner or meet a good friend, which we are doing tonight. If you don't like your date, guys, you can take it out here. You can throw axes at this uh, wall they have in the back. A restaurant, by the way. And they're opening up more tables upstairs now. Just have the opportunity to dine in with the chef. We just had the opportunity to have the chef tell us what's going on. Such a nice scene. Check it out over here. There's Ub and Tom.